Hey, howdy, and good morning. It's morning. I can't help myself. So, got a question for you. How is your whole house surge protector like a Ford Mustang? I know, you were just thinking, I was like, James, once again, it's like you're, I'm intuitive, like, I'm, like we're connected, right? We're connected. So, I have a Ford Mustang, an EV. Love this car, right? Electric car, so fun. And uh, I managed to do something silly. I was driving, wasn't paying attention, hit a curb, blew out a tire. Super sad moment. And I went back to where I thought there would be a spare tire. Why would I check that? Because it's a brand new car. And I'd open it up, no spare tire. There's a little box with a tube and it's a compressor. It's supposed to like shoot foam into the tire to get you uh, not, apparently, when you read the fine print during the middle of an accident, not more than 15 miles away and not over like 30 miles an hour. Needless to say, I didn't go very far that day. Okay? So, here's the connection. We also had a surge protector we installed for a client several years ago. They had a big electrical surge. All kinds of stuff got damaged. Here's what didn't happen. Surge protector didn't do anything. That is the spare tire the homeowner was looking for, and nothing happened. Okay? They went back to the life trunk of, hey, we have a whole house surge protector, and they got let down. So since then, it spurred me to do a lot of digging, and I'm here with to you today to talk about some of those backside issues that none of us think about until we've got the flat tire. Okay, so um, the uh, couple of things. The surge protector in question was a basic Leviton surge protector. It was not super high end, but um, definitely didn't inspect, expect that not to stop a surge. So for you as you're watching, they also had surge protectors at point of use, like at their big screen TV, a plug-in at the garage door opener. And so this has spurred some extra reading and if you say that's fine print, <laughs> you're correct. Um, this is for the Eaton Ultra, which is a surge protector that I love. But on the Leviton, it specifically excluded garage door openers. I don't know why, but it did. Okay. Sadly enough, in this case, the homeowner, garage door opener got fried. And they even had a little plug-in point of use surge protector. The surge, whatever it was, went right around it. It was either too fast, don't know. But my point to you is start digging into your fine print. So here's the Eaton Ultra, which I love the surge protector. I've recommended it and used it for years. So here's a couple things I noticed on what I consider the top two. One is none of them are covered for direct lightning strikes. And that comes up. That's what you'll notice I'm saying surge, not lightning strike. Because it says, and I'll quote, bear with me, Failure due to direct lightning strikes and temporary overvoltage are not covered. Like you, I said, so what is it covered then? And we're putting in these surge protectors. They are super cool looking. This is the Ultra. Okay. Even has uh, my bulbs on it. I mean, what are we doing here? So I started digging in. Five year warranty. On this, the uh, Siemens F1, uh, F140, 10 year warranty, which is nice. But here's the issue, and here's the back end that we have to look at. What do you do when you have to make a claim? Okay, the Ultra has uh, a $75,000 maximum limit. Um, and they're going to ask you for the sales receipt, they're going to ask you for a, the letter explaining the incident. There's several items. Um, the point is, is you're going to have to do a little due diligence on the front and work with your electrical contractor to get these details nailed down. Here's why. More than likely, once you do this, you'll never need it. It'll be fine. It'll work like a champ. Um, even in this one case, that Leviton surge protector may have protected that house dozens of times and we didn't know over the past six years, five years. Um, but you need to look at that, whatever surge protector, look at the fine print and Look at what it's going to take to file a claim. Okay, um, The whole reason we have it, like the spare tire, is so that when something happens, you can be covered. Okay, So I guess what I'm telling you is don't 
don't just settle for the idea of something. Make sure you know what the nuts and bolts are because it's been an eye-opening experience for us, okay? That's all I have for you today. You all have a fantastic day. Take care.